Hey, Creekside family, Sandy Purdy here, coming to you live from the uh, uh, Creekside studio. And I was hearing some noise coming from my office, so I had to investigate. Here is my sister, Deb, Deb working what are you up. doing with all this thread? Oh my gosh, there is a lot of thread on that. Did you know that you could make beautiful tassels from decorative thread or yarns on your serger? Really? Look oh, I love this. Oh, let's get Sandy. We have to do this. Sandy, Sandy. I'm here. I'm behind the camera. Oh, look what Deb's going to do with us. Oh, no. That looks that that looks hard. Is that hard? No, it's not. Okay, me show, show me you. what you're doing. You're going to use your decorative threads or yarn. This is a yarn. And you're going to use that in your upper looper. But you're not going to put it down through your ports or your threading channels if you have a standard serger. You're going to bypass your ports by using your thread cradle. And you're going to pull your, with a thread cradle in this area, you're going to pull it up through your looper. And then you're using regular standard serger thread in your lower looper and needle. So it's the normal threading for that particular thread. Correct. Okay, and the machine that you are working on is a Baby Lock Triumph. Correct. But okay. this can be made on any serger, um, all the way down to your most basic serger, you're able to do this. Now, do other sergers have the bypass? No. Uh, the Ovation and the Triumph are the only ones that have the bypass. Uh, I have an Evolution at home, and I was able to do it without the little bypass. It just laid against um, my edge and um, created this tassel. Oh, let's take a look. Home. Oh, for all of you home decor ladies, look at how fabulous that is. And the tassel is made with the chain that I just created. And then the roping is done very unique way. And um, we, have, we have to use a mixer with a beater on it. Or if you don't have a mixer with a beater, then you can use a drill press with your threads put into the end of the uh, the cordless drill. Um, your threads put into the end of a cordless drill. So let's show you how to do that. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Let's see this here. Oh, Donna. Oh, safety first. Gear on, so I am ready. <laughs> safety first. And, and oh my gosh, look at it. It's a, a handheld mixer. Please tell me that no cake batter is involved in this. I think it could get messy. Oh boy, Debbie's getting her protective gear on. Okay, <laughs> girls, let's. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I have four strands of my yarn. And then you wanna tie them onto the end of the beater. Or you, you um, knot this, if you don't want to use your beater, you knot the end, and then you put it in the end of your cordless drill and tighten it down. Oh, wow. This looks dangerous. We're ready. Dangerously okay, fun. You're gonna, you don't want to put your finger in the end, but you just want to hold the end there. And if you're doing this alone, you, if you have uh, dining room chairs with the knobs on the end, you can put it over the knob. I put it over the peg of my uh, serger where I put my thread on my serger. I put it on the peg and did it that way too. And then hold it tight. Oh my gosh, look at it. It, it, it will shrink up on you. No, oh, it probably went too. Ah! You're going to let go of that end. And it's going to wrap right up. Oh, wow. And you just kind of pull it and it'll wrap right up on you. There it goes. And you just keep shaking it around and it'll just wrap right up. And there's your thread. There's your cord. So it oh, how cool out. is that? 
So with some products that you have at home, a standard mixer, yarn, your serger thread, a baby lock triumph serger, ovation serger, evolution, evolution serger, or any serger that you can bypass, you can make these beautiful um, trim pieces. Look what Deb has already now, made to too. Now to do the um, oh, well, tassel. Yeah, tassel end. You just wrap it around your fingers and then you grab the top of it and you wrap it around the top and then you would tie that together. And then you would cut your ends open so that they're not, right there, over there, Donna. You would cut your ends so that they're not looped. I feel like a doctor. Yeah. I'm handing over the tools. And we have our protective gear on. Safety first. And there's your tassel. And then you would take, and you would take your uh, cords and come up through with a darning needle and then hook it onto... Then you would hook it right there. How awesome is that? And there you have it. Trim created from your serger, a skein of yarn, two serger threads, a little creativity from the kitchen, and you have some beautiful trim pieces made. Now, go experiment and report back to us. This is Sandy signing off from Creekside Fabrics in the Village of Arcade.